Okay, so initially I had two songs that I could pick from. One of them was King by Lauren Aquilian, and the other one was Would You Be So Kind by Dodie. Now before I did any proper research, I was pretty sure both these songs and the arts themselves would be quite obscure to the general audience. However, it was correct for King and Lauren Aquilina, as only five out of the 28 people that I asked knew the song and knew the artist. However, with Dodi and Would You Be So Kind, I found that 16 out of the 28 people I asked knew the song, and then 24 out of 28 people I asked knew the artist. So let's have a quick listen at To King. was for to have a music video and I found that I actually had a range of answers with the majority thinking that it was relatively important but also quite a few that didn't care much for music videos. So because I thought these songs were quite obscure I wanted to know the level of importance for a song to have a music video when the song or artist isn't really well known. And, as you can see, it's quite even, pretty much, but the majority, the very majority, I suppose, thought that it was more important for an artist who wasn't well known to have a music video, as it can give, it will allow people to find it a lot easier, because it's easier to find a music video than just to find a song on, say, iTunes. And because of this reason, I wanted to do King by Lauren Aquilina because I wanted to have people find her music more because she isn't well known overall and she is a good artist. So who is she? She was a British singer-songwriter that was born in Bristol and her first ever video that she uploaded to YouTube was back in <coughs> September of 2011 which was a Gone Either cover. She then not very regularly released three more music videos before the third one being in July of 2012 before then releasing her first EP which is falls in October of the same year. Over the course of the next two years she released two more EPs, Sinners and Liars. Liars was actually the music video, uh, sorry, the EP that got her signed to a music company which was Island Records and the Universal Music Group, which she then released Oceans, another EP, in October 2015. The next year, with the same record company, she released her first and last full album in August of 2016. In October of 2016, she made a post on Facebook saying that while she has a lot of faith for herself as a songwriter, and she wants to continue to pursue that, she doesn't want to write for herself anymore, and she won't be performing live under her own name. So, more about the song. I went on songmeetings.net, and I found that there was a lot of people who had heard of the song and had done quite a lot of analysis on the lyrics. One of the main things I did notice throughout is that one specific line of the song, which is this one here, Rid of the monsters inside your head. A lot of people found that that gave the song more of a meaning towards mental illness, specifically depression in a lot of places. You also find that other people thought it was 
that sometimes people can just get into your head and really just knock your self-confidence down. So I wanted to have a look at her past music videos, but she only has four. This one here is Falls, and she also had one for Ocean and for Low. All these music videos that she has done, these three, it only has her in the music video. She's the only one in there. They all were also quite different. In Falls, it's more of just lip syncing and her in a room filled with keys, which she is looking at. In Ocean, once again, it has her lip singing, lip syncing, and she. And in the background, they have layered clips of the beach and oceans, as you can see quite clearly. In this window here, that's an ocean, and then lower here, you have the ocean and the beach. The interesting thing with the music video for Low, the one on the very right, is that it is a one take music video. And it does very clearly show emotions and follows her through a car park. Her fourth music video is for her song called Kicks, and this one is very different to her other three. As you can see, there are multiple different people in this music video, and it's definitely more based around showing a story behind the lyrics of the song. Whereas the other ones didn't do that quite as much. It was more, this is what the song's about, and she's singing it. So, what is my plan? For the location, I originally did think maybe going to the Lees, but I found that might be too populated. So instead there's this area that's just a little distance away from my house, which is the pavilion. And this whole area, which is just here, is public space that is able to be used. And it's quite a nice area because there's a nice feel that I could get some shops of lip syncing and stuff in. And then also a little park area and a tennis court and a basketball court that would be nice for more narrative elements. So for the actors, for the actors, it's going to be Polina and myself. The main reason why I wanted to use Polina in my music videos, in past, music vid uh, in past products that we have done, she has been able to show emotion very well. Specifically, sadder emotions, which I imagine for the song is going to be what is going with. And then for the plot, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's going to be, Queen is going to be a girl that is struggling with social media and people bullying her in a sense. And then I will be playing a part of some what of a subconscious or an outside perspective and that would be more of the lip syncing and basically trying to get the girl to realise that she is worth something and that this is just a bad stepping stone. That's what I have.